What's up guys, in this tutorial we're going to do basic kitchen modeling in 3ds Max. Let's get started. So before any modeling work, we need to think about how much time and effort we need to put into the process. For this specific shot, for example, I know that the kitchen is going to be far away from the camera. So there is no point for me to invest time in modeling every little detail that no one is going to see. So my actual modeling is going to be very basic. I'm going to create a separation for each door, maybe walk on the countertop, add some appliances and that should be it. So let's start with that in mind. We're gonna isolate these boxes that represent our kitchen. Let's get closer, perspective view. And let's start with this one first. Okay, from box I'm going to convert it, right click, convert to editable poly. And now I'm going to select edges, I'm going to select all these edges and right click and connect. Let's add some segments. This will be the separation of each cabinet. I think three could be fine. And now let's divide it like so also. Now I'm going to pick each one of the front panel. I can do it either by clicking one by one or if I click by angle and ignore back facing, it will select the same surface. Now I'm going to right click, select insert and now I can make an inside frame but I want to do it for each and every polygon. So switch to by polygon. Now I will determine the gap between each draw. Let's do it something like maybe 0.4. Remember, this is what we were going to see from far away. So don't do it too close. Maybe 0.5. In total, it's going to be one centimeter because it's 0.5 for each side. Click OK. And now I want to detach all these faces. So going to detach as clone. And I'm going to select the same polygon I just detached and add a shell modifier. So if you can see now, I have all the front panels as one object. Let's set the shell to about 2. And to break up this hard edge, I'm going to add a chamfer modifier. You can select it from the list down below. Let's search for chamfer. Switch to smooth chamfers only and reduce it to about 0.2, maybe 0.25 and add another segment. So now we have much more realistic corners to all the front panels. And of course we can add handles for each drawer or we can simply do the modern style with the hidden handles. So that's it for this cabinet. Now for the top part, I'm gonna select plan. Let's click on S to snap it. I'm going to click and drag over here. Let's add a shell modifier of about two, it's okay. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap like so. So it will create nice realistic shadow between the cabinet and the top counter. Now before the shell modifier I will add edit poly and I just want to bring it to the edge of the panels. 
Let's select all of it, like so. Shell, and we can copy the same chamfer. Right click, copy, paste as an instance. So any changes will be applied to the other chamfer as well. And let's move over to the cabinet wall. And we're pretty much gonna do the same. And I've pasted the same chamfer modifier. Now in here I want to make an opening for uh, some appliances. So we'll go down to the edit poly. I'm gonna select, let's select all of these lines. Connect. Make two connections. Let's reduce this one a bit. Now I'm going to delete this polygon and this polygon and also to the back box we can simply delete these two and afterwards I will insert the appliances inside this hole. Now for the island cabinet let's do something different. Convert to edit poly. Let's delete the bottom part. Now I'm going to detach this polygon but keep it at the same element. I'm going to insert it inside about 30 centimeters so I could put here some, uh, some chairs. And now I can add a shell modifier and again paste the same chamfer. Now I know that I'm not going to see this area, so there is no point of adding here any details. Always remember to be as lazy as you can regarding the modeling process. If you don't have to, just don't do it. And that applies to every piece of furniture or decor that you need to add to your scene. Try to find it online and download it as much as you can. Okay, now I'm going to make an opening for the sink. Let's select the stop polygons. Or maybe just these two. Let's isolate it. I'm going to delete. And now notice that I'm always working on the, the most primitive stage of the object. Always keep it as a one plane as you can. Okay, and don't collapse the shell and chamfer modifiers. Now let's move the vertices to be at the center. And let's delete the inside polygon. Actually, it's not at the center of the window, but it's not important for now. Now I want to add some shells to this area. To the TV area. I'm gonna start with a simple plan. Let's reduce all the segments. Right click, editable poly. Move everything to its right position. Let's see how much is the width. I'm gonna look down on the y-axis. This is 33 centimeters, like so. So I'm going to bring this back 33. And now click shift and drag. 
and shift and drag somewhere over here afterward I will build the TV cabinet right in the middle and now again bring it up a bit 40 centimeters add a shell modifier let's set it to 3 centimeters now to get rid of these uh, strange smoothing groups I'm going to deselect auto smooth edge and select override edge smoothing and also click on straighten corners now I can either shift drag and copy as an instance or what I like to do is to use the clone modifier which is actually doesn't come with 3ds max I will put the link down below to a company called i2 software and you can download this script free of charge so now we can set the number of clones we can bring it up let's say 35 centimeters and clone it and we can change the height as we like again add a chamfer And that's it. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and give a like, and I'll see you next time.